What's going on guys, it's Panjana here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the updated 2016 version of the Rust FPS guide. Now this guide is going to teach you how to get the best FPS possible for your machine. It's also going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to improve FPS on other games as well. And overall this is probably the best video It's compiling other people's ones and the latest techniques on how to get the best FPS. So if you have any questions make sure you head on down to the comment section below, ask them. Most things should be cleared up in this video, blah -de blah -de blah so first off, what you got to do is start off by downloading the latest video card drivers for your GPU. So if you have an AMD card, head over to AMD's website or look in the description below. If you have an NVIDIA card, do that as well. If you have a gaming machine, you've probably done this before. If not, just do a quick Google search on how to install graphics card drivers. Download the latest ones and then come back to this video. So after you've downloaded the pack and put it onto your desktop, make sure you extract it from the RAW file and you'll be left with this folder. Inside of here there'll be multiple folders and multiple different things which we're going to go through now. First off what we're going to do is start off with CPU Core on Park. Run the app using Administrator, then all you got to do is head on down to where it says Check Status. Click Check Status, wait for it to do its thing, it might take a little while so I've sped up the video here and you'll see that it appears if you haven't done this before, your CPU cores will say parked. Where mine says unparked, it will say parked. All you got to do is head on down to the bottom there where it says unpark all. Again, this might take a little while, probably like 20, 30 seconds. Do that, make sure it's done. After it says unparked, just exit off of that and that step is done. After you're done with that, you're going to have to download CC Cleaner. It's included in the pack. Just run the setup. I've already run the setup, but I'm going to show you the program here. I'll just search for it in my, uh, my program thing, my Bob. And here we go. So inside this program, if you hit run cleaner, it will get rid of all cache files, cookies, shit you don't need that just gets backed up from using Internet Explorer, uh, Google Chrome and whatnot, and other rubbish out of your computer. It just deletes unnecessary files. Don't worry, it won't delete anything important. It literally is stuff that's not used. There's also other tools in here as well, like an uninstaller. I recommend going through and uninstalling programs and games you don't you no longer use because it just floods your hard drive. That's another thing you should do as well. Make sure you clear your hard drive space as often as you possibly can. Next thing, go into NVIDIA Inspector, again run this as Administrator. As you can see here you'll be able to see a lot of information about your GPU. This is if you have an NVIDIA card this step by the way. If not, there might be an AMD equivalent, um, I'm not entirely sure if there is. Have a Google around and you might be able to get some information on that. So here's what I want you to do. Head on into, by pressing that little cog like I did there before, head on to the profiles and search for Rust, just like I did on screen. Here is your Rust profile. Now what I want you to do is at any point just pause the video here because I've sped it up a little bit and make sure you copy my settings. So literally pause it, make sure yours are the same. I'll scroll down again in a second, pause it, make sure all yours are the same. Just make sure your, your settings are completely identical to mine and we should be good to go. After you're done, hit apply settings in the top right, and that's you completely done on NVIDIA Inspector. It might lag a little bit, but after it's done, it is completely done, and you can exit off of the program. Then what I want you to do is head up back onto NVIDIA Inspector and go to the show overclocking tab. A little warning message will come up, but this is completely fine. Your CPU, GPU will be completely fine. You can't ruin it. What I recommend doing is turning up the fan to 100%. Then what you can do, make sure you hit the set fan button by the way, what you can do is um, you can apply a slight overclock to your GPU, it's completely fine, just do as I'm doing here, I'm adding about 20, I'm adding somewhere between about 20 to 70 onto the base clock and about 50 on the memory clock. This will do is just a little bit of a performance boost to make sure your graphics card is running how it should do. It's completely fine to do this. Um, ignore the little warning message at the start. As long as you're not fucking about with voltages or anything, you're completely fine. Modern graphics cards pretty much won't even let you destroy them, so it's completely fine. There's not really any risk in it. But this uh, this can be avoided. You don't have to do this part, but I highly recommend anyone who's looking for an FPS boost to do it. Now, head on to the bottom right of your computer and right click on the NVIDIA logo and go into the NVIDIA control panel. Again, this part might take a little bit longer, so I've sped up the video. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to manage 3D settings there on the left and you'll be given this page. Make sure you've gone over to the global settings tab and again, just like in the NVIDIA inspector, make sure you copy all of my settings. Here where, I says, where it says two times DSR factors, I turn that off. There's no need for you to have DSR factors on. It's literally an upscaling thing. I just wanted to see what some games would look like on 4K, so I just turn that off. But yeah, like I said, pause the video, make sure you take down notes, um, you know, make sure your settings are completely identical to mine, and we will continue on.
Next, after you've done that, make sure you head over, over to the change resolution tab. And if you look at your screen refresh rate, make sure it's running the highest possible. For me, I have a 144 hertz monitor, so I'm going to run 144 hertz. It doesn't do any performance uh, decrease if you're running in a different refresh rate. After this, make sure you go into the adjust settings with preview, hit the button there and do for performance. After you've done that, hit apply. And then after that's done, hit yes to that. Then change it back to use the advanced 3D image settings and then hit apply again. This basically means that in case it doesn't read your advanced 3D settings, it's still running for performance anyway. It's just a sort of fail safe thing and this should help as well. After you've done that, that's completely done. We can go on into installing the game config and the launch parameters. So first off, what you're going to do is go into the game config thing, find out which config you want to use. If you want to use my personal one, which a lot of people have asked for, or if you want to use the incredibly high FPS, but it will make your game look like shit one. Next, what you want to do is head over to Rust in Steam, go to Properties, then go to Browse Local Files, click that, and it will bring you to your game directory. Head on into the CFG folder, which is found here, and you will find yourself your own client, which will already be there. What I recommend you do is right click on it and edit it with Notepad if you've got Notepad Plus Plus, even better. Scroll down to where you see input.sensitivity and make sure you keep note of what yours is and make sure you apply it to my config, otherwise your mouse sensitivity will be completely fucked in game and it'll be completely different to what you've used. After you've done that, go back into the folder where you can find my config and just copy it into the folder in your Rust one. Make sure, like I said, to apply your sensitivity otherwise you're going to notice there's there's either the mouse might be slow or the mouse might be too fast for you after you've done that we're completely done on installing the config we're going to do the launch parameters so open up the folder there's a graph i've made there so you can calculate um you know due to your ram and uh, just have a read of that and it'll make sense to you basically what you want to do is you want to input how much ram you've got so if you've got you know 8 gig it's 8192 where that number is where for me it's 24000 so yours if you've got 8 gig will be 8192 if you just read through the uh, the readme there it'll be completely fine it'll make sense to you go to general set launch options and then all you got to do is just hit copy and paste into there and that step is completely done. Your launch options are done. I've had a lot of experimenting with this and they are by far the best launch options still available. After you've done that, hit play. If you're running in a low config, I recommend running in DirectX 9. I'm not entirely sure if that'll give you better FPS. I personally don't do it, but it's worth a try. Personally, I run in fantastic graphics at 1920 by 1080. If you're running on a lower config, make sure you do fastest or fast, otherwise it's completely useless. Um, make sure you're running on the, the the right monitor. The input thing is completely irrelevant, and make sure you're not running in windowed because windowed can make games run slower. Another sort of quick tip thing is make sure you unplug other monitors, which can draw GPU performance. It's not much, but things like that help. Make sure you close all the other programs. As you can see, I'm right-clicking on taskbar, and I'm going to set the priority to the Rust client too high. So all you got to do is just go to processes, right-click, go to details. Again, right click, set priority, and hit high. This will make sure the game's running and taking as many resources as it possibly needs. But like I was saying, make sure you close Internet Explorer, make sure you close Chrome, everything. Absolutely every other program you don't need running on your, on your computer, just absolutely close it. No need for it to be open, it'll draw unnecessary resources. And even on the best of machines, closing other programs just leaves it with nothing to conflict. Now what can happen when installing this config is it can rewrite all of your um, input commands. As you can see, you can take note on in-game settings here, um, like Shadow Cascades. I personally have that on 4, you can try none, see if that gives you better FPS, if it does. Parallax Mapping, sometimes that can increase your FPS as well if you turn that on. And uh, we'll go into the other uh, performance tab in a second, and there's actually an option there which can increase your FPS as well, which is Virtual Texturing. If you turn that on, some people actually get an FPS increase. I personally don't, I lose about 10. Some people gain about 30, so it's very system dependent. What I recommend you do as well is just to let you know, You'll always get lower FPS in a modded server due to plugins, due to gather rates and bases being naturally bigger and other conflicting errors. So you'll always get like lower FPS in modded. Best bet is community if you want the best of both worlds or official servers. They're definitely going to be the best for you. I'm personally going to go into Facebook Manchester. I don't normally play in this. Right, so if, as you can see on screen now, you might want to pause. Um, sometimes your input thing bugs and you can't wake up and you've got no buttons bound. Just like I said in the point of this video, 
um, just pause at any point and you can see what everything's bound to in case it does do this for you. I don't know why this does this, but it's an easy fix. You just type it in manually yourself. There's also a console command which is PERF space 1, which you can do, which will show your FPS in the bottom left corner. And there you go. I'm recording at 60 FPS at the moment, getting between 120 to 144 frames per second. And that is the Ultimate FPS Rust Guide. I haven't done a video like this in a while. I haven't even done an after commentary like this in a while, so uh, it might have been a bit bumpy, but hopefully the point still stands. If you have any questions or you have any concerns, check the description first. If not, your answer's not in there. Head on down to the comment section. I'll try my best to get back to you or someone else in the community you might and your issues should be resolved. Make sure you let me know how much an increase you got. If this video worked, make sure you share it with friends. Anyone else who might be having problems or anyone else getting into Rust because you know you want to get the best performance of the game you possibly can and uh, other things like that. If you guys want any other videos like this, you need to fucking find some FPS guides for other games. I'm your guy, so make sure you check out my uh, check out my other videos. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been Panjano. I'm out.